Hey, what's up, Musers? This is John at Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to be going over the responsive gallery showcase widget found at museforyoushop.com. Uh, so this widget is a lot of fun. Uh, the features included are um, it's a fully responsive image gallery, so it responds uh, to the browser width and it looks good on all devices. Um, you can add up to 24 images. You can add alternative text to the images for the search engines. So each of your images can have a description and the search engines will know what that image is about. Um, you can change the light box color in, in the gallery. Uh, you can customize the border around images. And then here I have a website that makes it very easy uh, to crop and resize images for uh, this image gallery. Um, so I'll go over this in this video tutorial and to add it to your Adobe Muse, web, uh, your Adobe Muse website, you simply install the widget and then you just drag it onto your Adobe Muse website, style with the widget options, and that's it. And yep, yeah, that's basically it. Um, so here is the widget options, and I'll go over this in this video tutorial. And we can preview it, so I'll go to the preview page. And here's the image gallery. This one has the full 24 images in it. And if I click on an image, we can see that it has that nice um, effect there where it shows the larger image when you click on the thumbnail. And a really fun thing about this widget is that if you click on the lower thumbnails, um, the, the thumbnails scroll up so you can see the, the image um, directly in the screen. So even if I click down here, it'll scroll up so I can see that image. So this widget is a lot of fun. Um, you can really showcase your images uh, with, this, with this gallery showcase and, and uh, just you know have your visitors go through your images in a nice way. And all this is customizable. Um, you can customize this color here and you can customize the border around the image. Um, so now I'm gonna show how it looks on my mobile device. I have a, an iPhone 5S. So I'm just going to um, go to it here. So here I have this website on my mobile device. And if I go through and click on each image, we can see that it works really well. And there we go, and it scrolls up so that you can see the image right in the middle of the mobile device. Okay, so it's a lot of fun. And I can scroll up here and just see the image and X out here. Okay. There we go. So as you can see, um, I, I didn't do anything to make this uh, responsive. It's automatically responsive or yeah, I should say I didn't um, I didn't make breakpoints in Adobe Muse to make this responsive. Um, the the image gallery just respond is responsive by itself. So that's really great there. All right, so there is the demo on the mobile device. So now that I've showcased the the widget, I'm going to go ahead and recreate um, or create a website with this widget in it. So I'm just going to open up my Adobe Muse website and I'll just let it load here. And then I'll go to file, new site. And yeah, let me put my phone there. And then I'll click OK. I'll open up my home page. And once you get the widget, you simply, un it comes in a zip file. So you simply simply unzip it, uh, then double click on the .mulib file. It has a uh, .mulib extension uh, in the file and then it, it will install directly into your library panel. Um, and if you don't see your library panel, uh, I have it here in my panel section to the right. If you don't see your library panel, you can go to Window and then click on Library and it'll bring up the library panel. So I have it here and let me just scroll down to it to the responsive gallery uh, showcase widget. And you just have to click the drop down here and then you get access to the widget here. Um, the responsive gallery showcase widget. Uh, then you simply click, hold, and drag and place onto your Adobe Muse website. So I'll click allow there. And here we have all the widget options. We can select the amount of images. So we can select uh, between one and uh, 24. And here we can change the light box color. We can change the thumbnail hover opacity. So when we hover over the thumbnail, um, how see-through it will be when we hover over it. And if you did want to disable the thumbnail scroll, you know, when uh, when you click on the lower thumbnails and it scrolls up so that the light box is in the middle or more centered, um, you can disable that so the user can just click and it wouldn't scroll, have that scrolling feature um, in, the, in, the, um, in the gallery. 
And here we can change the image border around the image when it opens up in the light box. So we can change the color, we can change the border width, we can change the border type and the border radius. And here's where we can select all the images. So here we select the images uh, that will be in the light box. Uh, here we select the thumbnails and here's where we can add the alternative text to each of the images. So now the next thing I'm going to do is get 24 images and I have images from unsplash.com and I'm going to resize them. So the recommended size for um, the lightbox images is 640 by or 600 by 400 and the uh, recommended size for the thumbnails is 160 by 160. Uh, for the images inside the lightbox you can kind of play with that a little bit but for the, for the thumbnails I would recommend 160 by 160. So I'm just going to go to my finder here to my folder and I'm going to select 24 images here and these are all unsplash images so I'm just going to just highlight um, a few here till I have 24. There I have 24 so I'm going to hit command C to copy or uh, better yet um, before I do that oh yeah I'm going to hit command C to copy and I'm just going to place it in this folder here. Okay, so here are my images. I have 24 here, and I can tell I have 24 because right here in my finder it says 24. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do, if I go to uh, museforyeshop.com, then I click on the pop-up here, and I, I'll click on resp Responsive Gallery Showcase. And one thing I didn't mention before is that uh, you can get access to, the to this widget by clicking subscribe, and you get access to all widgets for 39 a year. Um, or you can subscribe with PayPal by clicking here. And if you'd like to purchase the widget individually, you can just go to the widget, and here you can click Add to Cart to purchase individually, or again, get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. So um, yeah, that's something I probably could have mentioned in the beginning, but I uh, just mentioned it now. So here it says, visit this website to crop and resize multiple images for the image gallery. Um, it's called here, berm.net, so I'll click on it. And here, all we need to do is drag um, all the images that we want to crop and resize. So here in the resize and crop two dimensions, uh, I'm gonna say 600 by 400. And that's basically it. Um, I don't want no auto sizing and the crop align, I want it to be centered on the x-axis and centered on the y-axis. So now I'm just going to uh, select all these images and just click, hold and drag and place right in here where it says to drag and drop the files. And that's basically it. And we can see here that it's cropping and resizing all the images. And uh, that took less than a couple of seconds, I think. And that's it. So now what we want to do is click on Save Zip. So I'll click there. And here it saves a zip file. So I'll go to my Finder. Um, I'll go to my, uh, I'll click here. I'll just go to my Downloads folder. And I'll click, hold, and drag and place right in there. Uh, yeah, in my example folder, um, and then I'll put this in the images folder here because I have images and thumbnails. So, and I'm just doing that because it makes it easier when adding it to the widget if I have the images in its separate folder and the thumbnails in the separate folder. So now I want to do this again, so I'm just gonna refresh. And for the width and height, I'm gonna say 160 by 160, and this is gonna be for the thumbnails. So I'm just gonna click and select all these again click, hold and drag and place into there. So there we can see that it resized all the images. So again, I'm gonna click on, let me scroll down here. I'll click on, yeah, save zip here. And again, it will go to my downloads folder. And here I'm just gonna open up my th thumbnails folder, go to my downloads folder and drag this uh, berm uh, zip file into there. So now I'm gonna go to my images folder and I'm gonna double click on the zip file and it'll just create a folder called berm and here I have all the images at 600 by 400 so if I right click on any image I click on get info here we can see it says 600 by 400 now I'll go back to my thumbnails and I'll unzip the berm uh, zip file there I'll double click here I have all my thumbnails and if I right click get info we can see that it's 160 by 160 so this makes it really easy to add all these images uh, to to the widget. So I'm just going to close this here and Now I have the widget here. So I'm going to close my library panel uh, just to have some more um, workspace here and I'll open the widget options and 
uh, here for select amount of images. For this tutorial, I'm just going to add all 24 uh, just to showcase that. Or actually, I'll add five at first, and I'll show you an, inter an interesting feature uh, that you can do in Adobe Muse. So I have uh, five images here, so I'll click Add File. And here I have the example folder. So I'll go to Images, I'll click on Berm, um, and yeah, I'll start at 581 there. Or yeah, start at the first image, and I'll just add five images here. Okay. And then I'll go to the thumbnails, I'll click Add File. And I'll go back to the example folder. I'll go to thumbnails and I'll add those thumbnails. Okay. And they do have the same file name, so it makes it really easy to match the thumbnails and the images. Okay, so I have five images there. And to make this, uh, the widget 100% uh, width or um, the full size, you simply have to here and resize, say stretch to browser width. And then the widget will be full size and the thumbnails will be full size. So now uh, we can see that we have the, the thumbnails in here. Uh, but I do want this to be centered. I don't want it to be on the left. So to do that, I just select the widget. I go to the text option in Adobe Muse and I say align center. And now all the thumbnails are aligned to the center. So now if I click file, preview page in browser, we can see the images there. Looks great. All right. And we can close it and it has this nice uh, animation when it closes. I can click there on the image to close it again, or I can close it here with the X there. Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to showcase, I uh, guess for the image border, I'll, I'll show this. Uh, we can actually change the border around the image and we can almost make it kind of circular. Um, so here I'm gonna leave the border color white. For the border width, I'll say three, we'll leave it at solid. But let's say for the border radius, I wanted some radius around the image, I'll change it to 50 and it's in pixels. Uh, so I'll go to file, preview page in browser, I'll click, and we can see we have a border radius to the image. So you can do a lot of styling with this widget. I could even set it to, you know, like maybe 200 and then go to file, preview page in browser, click, and we have this nice oval to the image. If you had a square image, you could have a perfect circle in here and that would look really nice. And I could even make the the border width very a, a bit thicker and change it to something like dotted for the border type and if i go to file preview page in browser we can see we we've changed the border uh, for the image here in the in the light box all right so that's just a fun feature um, that you can do or you can uh, work with uh, to add more styling to the image in the light box all right so there's the image border um, so now I'm just going to go through and add the rest of the images. So I'm going to go to add file and I'm going to go to the images folder and let's see, I, I ended at 585, so I'll do 586, 587, here we go, 88. And these are just the way the images are numbered here, 93, all right. So I'm with, I might fast forward to uh, through this and then go to the thumbnails. Okay, so I've added all the images. Now I'll go to the thumbnails and I'll add all the thumbnails. So I'll go back to that folder, click on thumbnails. Here we go. And I'll start adding these. So now I've added all the images and the thumbnails. So here we have select amount of images. I want to change this to 24. So I'll click there. And now we have 24 images in the image gallery here. So I'll just move this up a little bit. So now if I go to file, preview page and browser, there I have the image gallery. And it looks really nice. All right. And we have that thumbnail scrolling so we can see the image uh, in the in the browser. Um, I could disable that, so I could click here, click disable thumbnail scroll, and if I go to file preview page in browser, we can see that it doesn't do that. So we have to scroll down a little bit, and sometimes we have to scroll up to see the uh, the images there, so the thumbnails don't scroll. Um, so I just added that feature in case you did 
um, you didn't want the thumbnails to scroll uh, in there. Okay, so there's the light box or the, uh, the image gallery. And if I did want to add alternative text, so for instance, for the first text, I could say image of a pathway, uh, second one, uh, image of sky, of a sky, and just things to uh, describe the images, uh, images of a of water under a bridge, and image of rocks. So uh, yeah, it's just kind of looking at the image and seeing um, what it portrays or giving it a nice description for the um, the search engine. So the search engines know what it's what the image is about. Okay, so that's it for all the widget options. So now I'll preview one more time in the browser. I'll go to File, Preview Page in Browser, and here is the image gallery. Um, and if I make the browser smaller, we can see that it responds to the, to the browser width. Looks really nice. So I'll just change a few things. I do want the thumbnail scroll, so I'll uncheck Disable Thumbnail Scroll um, there. And I'll, I want the images to be uh, square and this border to be solid and we'll give it a, a border width of three. And I'll leave the color white, but you can change it to, to any color you'd like. Uh, so now I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser, and there we have it. And we can see the image has a square border around it now. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video tutorial. Um, I really like this widget. I think it's a great way to showcase uh, your images, and it's fully responsive, so it will look it will look good on all devices. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video tutorial. Um, again, to access this widget, you just go to museforyoushop.com. Uh, then you can click on the pop-up here. And here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. Or if you'd like to subscribe with PayPal, you can do so by clicking here, uh, where it says PayPal here. Or if you'd like to purchase the widget individually, you can go to the responsive gallery showcase widget, click here. And here you can click Add to Cart to purchase individually. Or again, you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. Uh, so again, I do this to help you build awesome, awesome websites without code. If you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the Show More section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial.